I hope everyone hello I hope everyone who is viewing this tutorial have gone through my tutorial one on power save mechanisms I urge you to go through the tutorial one so that the terminology used in this presentation can be understood with no difficulty so for so in the last tutorial I have explained in detail about the legacy power save beans uh, methods that is the POS pole method and the non POS pole method now let's go through the other mechanisms so the next category in this is APSD methods APSD is nothing but automatic power save delivery method so in this there are two types of categories two types of methods that are being supported in APSD one is unsing unscheduled APSD and the other is scheduled APSD the unscheduled the standard does not define scheduled APSD whereas it only the standard defines only unscheduled APSD and which is mostly used in by most of the vendors so let's go to the uh, definition of unscheduled APSD and its mechanism so APSD power save is an enhancement over the legacy power save mechanisms supported by Wi-Fi networks. It allows devices to spend more time in a dozing state which consumes less power while improving performance by minimizing transmission latency. Furthermore, APSD power save promotes more efficient and flexible over the air transmissions and more management by enabling individual applications to control capacity and latency requirements legacy power save methods do not provide good power savings for periodic bidirectional data traffic consisting of short frames like in void the time to deduce that there are no outstanding queued frames from the ap is usually much longer than the time period between successive void frames void frames so that the station does not go to power safe mode during the VoIP call. To handle this situation better, UIPSD mechanism was formulated as part of 802.11e. So UIPSD allows for a client to schedule in advance the communication pattern between the station and AP based on the periodic, periodic table traffic pattern of VoIP calls. For example, the client can negotiate with the AP to exchange VoIP frames every 20 milliseconds, which is typical. Once this is negotiated, the client may sleep between the packet exchange without notifying the AP. For non VoIP traffic, an your station retrieves unicast traffic queued in the AP by sending trigger frames. The AP indicates supports for this mechanism by advertising the capability in beacon and probe response and association or reassociation response frames. As in legacy power save motor, a station sets the power management bit in a null frame to indicate to the AP that it is in power save mode. A station in power save mode can send a QS null or a data frame to trigger the AP to send queued frames. The AP acknowledges the trigger and then follows it up up to the negotiated maximum number of frames. If there are no queued frames on the AP, when the trigger is received, the AP will respond with the QS null frame. The advantage of the UAPSD over legacy power safe mode is that the exchange of frames occurs with shift separation so that the medium remains locked during the exchange. In legacy power safe mode, the frames are exchanged with diff separation so that other station can take over the medium and the third met method that is, that is being supported by dot 11 protocol is sm method which is nothing but special method special multiplexing method and again in this you have two types of uh, method one is 
static static as a special multiplexing method and the other is dynamic special multiplexing method so let's go in detail about this uh, these methods the levenin radios are power hungry operating several radios requires even more power to address this situation Levenin has extended the power management capability of the 802.11 Mac. There are two extensions beyond the existing mechanism established in the original standard and the automatic power safe de delivery added in 802.11 E. The two new mechanisms provided by 802.11 N are special multiplexing power slave and power save multipole methods. The SM power safe mode allows an 11N client to power down all except one of its radios. The power safe mode has two sub modes of operation static and dynamic operation. The dynamic SM power safe mode also turns off all except one of uh, the client's radios. But in this mode of operation, the client can rapidly enable its additional radios when it receives a frame that is addressed to it. The client can immediately return to low power state by disabling its additional radios immediately after its frame reception is complete. In this mode of operation, the access point typically sends a control frame which can be either RTS, RTS CTS or a CTS to self frame. On in assuming the, con the control frames that are used is RTS CTS. So the AP transmits an RTS frame. On receiving the RT RTS frame, the client enables it radios and responds with CTS frame. All of its radios are now ready to receive the multiple special streams sent by all the radios in the access point. To use this power safe mode, Levin and client sends a new management frame in the access point, informing that access point is in dynamic SM power safe mode. In case of static power safe mode, the client turn off all but, is, but except a single radio, becoming essentially equivalent to an 11A or 11G clients. The client's access point is notified that the client is now operating in the static single radio mode requiring the access point to send only a single special stream to this client until the client notifies the access point that its additional radios are again enabled and operating. This notification of access point is done using a new management frame defined by 11N telling the access point that the